Hello everybody, I'm Koshi Sushi. Welcome back to my Let's Play Pokemon Ruby Destiny Rescue Ranger. In the last episode, we lost against an Aerodactyl, and I got a crap ton of hate in the comments because I got my typings wrong about Aerodactyl. I'm sorry I make mistakes, I'm sorry I'm human, but, you know, whatever, I, you, you're watching it, I still get paid. So, I don't mind. Um, but however, after we lost, uh, or after I lost, we got transported to this area here. I have no idea what this is, and I'm kind of scared. But let's move on. You are dead. Welcome to the world of the dead. Or do you wish to continue? Very well. Prepare to be reincarnated. What the f- What the f- Where am I- Oh my god. Do I have to go all the way back to where that arrow- I'll be right. Back- Ugh, in my life. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, we're back. Literally about 10 minutes later. Alright. I need to talk about this real quick while this little cutscene loads again. Okay, after you die, after you die in this game, this really needs to be fixed, like, legit. Okay, after you die, normally in a Pokemon game, after you die, it would go back to the last time you went to a Pokemon Center, or maybe the last time you saved, or something like that. If you die, it teleports, it teleported me into a dungeon I'm not supposed to be in, and then that dungeon teleported me back into the Pokemon Square. Now... Nor now, when I went to the Pokemon Square, I was like, okay, it's alright. But then I realized, in order to get to the dungeons that I need to go to, the game warps me there because of a script, because of what mission I'm on. I'm on a mission already, but since I already started it, it can't warp me back to the dungeon I needed to go to. Essentially, I was stuck in the Pokemon Square, not being able to do anything. That needs to be fixed, which means I had to legitimately start the game over Back to where I last saved, which was a while ago. And then I had to do all this crap again and go all the way back here. So you guys know the cutscene already. I'm gonna keep going through this. Here comes the Aerodactyl. This time I'm going to use the comments you guys put. Because that angered me and you guys are total pricks. But whatever. Alright, Aerodactyl, let's do this. Alright, you guys are basically saying, use Thundershock, so let's just use Thundershock, I guess. Yeah, I got a lot of hate, a lot of messages saying, you're so stupid that, like, you don't know that Electric beats a flying rock Pokemon. Alright, to be honest, okay, rock, come on, doesn't affect rock, it might affect flying, so it's sort of like, okay, which one is it? You have to guess. Okay, but seriously, that has to be fixed, the fact that you die and you're stuck. And that needs to be fixed. And this is the final version of the game, too, so that's kind of disappointing. When it's the final version of the game and there's still little mistakes like that. But, you know, not everything's perfect. Probably should use Quick Attack or whatever. Alright, though, and after this, Aerodactyl is dead. There you go. I'm very sorry you guys had to see all that in the last episode. But whatever. Finally, that's finished and we can move on with the rest of the story. Are you guys okay? Yeah, I guess. Fine as well. I mean, we kind of, like, four-shot him. That was scary. Yep. Hopefully he won't show up and cause trouble again. I'm with you on that. I guess we should head back now. Okay, Rose? Hmm? Okay, let's go. Rose? So that means you're feeling fine now? Yep. All thanks to you guys. Hooray! I'm glad we cheered you up, Rose. It's very nice to see you smile again, Rose. Okay, now let's get back let's get back before it gets dark. Now that's even scarier. Alright, here we go. Okay. Well I guess there goes that mission where we had to cheer up Rose. Hi hello Rose. Hi Koshi. Hi and good morning. Good morning to you too. Thanks for cheering me up yesterday. No problem. What are we what are friends for? Thanks. Well I will be around the square. See ya. Alright. That probably means we should go to the square. Okay, cool. So, and we're back in action here. We're back on track with the rest of the story. I won't make stupid mistakes again. I can't guarantee that, but I'll try not to. Um, but hey. Uh, everyone makes mistakes sometimes, right? Uh, what's up with you? I go, she's a good day today, huh? Alright, I'm assuming I need to go to the Gardevoir. Gardevoir. To get another mission? Perhaps? We'll see what happens. Alright, let's go inside. And, yep. Here's Chikorita and Torchic. 
Hello. Please be with them. It's good to hear that you successfully made Rose happy. You indeed did a great job, Go-Getters. I got good news for you, Team Go-Getters. The Rescue Hall just heard your actions lately, and they've decided to make your team an official rescue team. Sweet! I'm digging that. Now go talk to Kangaskhan to get your res rescue badge. At last, a dream come true. Alright, let's go. Come on, Koshi. To Kangaskhan we will go- Ah, oh. oh, okay. That badge is mine. No, mine, mine, mine. My friendship, a very weird emotion. XD. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Okay, so I guess now we're an official rescue team. I guess that's how it works now. Let's go to find. Let's go find Kangaskhan. And there they are. You three must be the go-getters. Yep, we are. We are the team go-getters. Excellent. I just got the word from the hall. They already decided to make your team an official rescue team. That means you can now conduct rescue jobs in other in other boundaries. Sweet. I guess I need this opportunity to search for my friends as well. And we got the second rank rescue badge, or SRRB for short. Okay, team, let's get ourselves ready then. We could go to the we could go to Garden Field to celebrate. Not a bad idea. Again. All right, thanks, King Hassan. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. We're going to Garden Field. Hmm. Oh, hi there. Hey there, Caterpie. How are you? Not good. What seems to be the matter? Oh God, what's happening? It's my mom. What happened? What well, happened earlier today while we were in Vapid Swamp? A swarm of Scyther blocked our path. We ran and ran, but the Scyther got us cornered. My mom fought against them and said that I should call for help. Of course we should. Yeah, we gotta go help them. That's just depressing. Okay, if I could recall correctly, Vapid Swamp is in s Silver Desert. All right, that means we'll be able, we'll be needing pr some protection for our eyes. Perfect. I have some with me, and we got the Go Goggles. Go Getters. Go Goggles. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Caterpie, you can come. You can come if you want, but stay close. All right. Uh, we're back in Sinister Woods. Okay, so I'm assuming this is going to be the same as before, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out. You guys have already seen the Sinister Woods. I'm going to go ahead and cut out until uh, we get to Silver Desert. I guess that's what it was, so I'll be right back. Hey, I found Silver Desert. Okay, it's in the desert E area uh, from Bouquet Field uh, when you go into the ocean, uh, which is what we did earlier in this episode. Um, I have a feeling we're going to be facing some rock-type Pokemon, so I'm going to put Chikorita up in front so he can get some experience. Or she, I don't... It's a she. Okay. Right, uh, so let's just move on. I'm assuming this is going to be a little bit of a maze. Ooh. Do, 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 do. Okay, um... Right. Moving on, because I want to know what's going to... I want to know what's going to happen next in the story. Because apparently there's other people we need to find as well, as well as... Okay, we need to find other people, as well as do the missions that are bestowed upon to us. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll take this time to talk about some other things. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put Razor Leaf in front. So other than Pokemon ROM hacks, there are a bunch of other games I've wanted to try for the first time ever. Example, Final Fantasy. I've never played... A, I've never completed a Final Fantasy game. I've only played one, I've never completed it. So, I have a question for you guys. Do you want to see me play um, other blind games uh, that uh, I've just never played before? Not necessarily ROM hacks, just games in general. For example, I've uh, I've never played Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, never played Persona. I've never played uh, DuckTales. I've never played DuckTales. Um, I've never played Final Fantasy, as I said. Uh, Final Fantasy is something I'm leaning more, leaning towards more because that's something I kind of want to get into. So I'm kind of curious, what do you guys think? If you, if I were to do like other games like Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts or something like that, would you guys like want to see that? Because it's completely new to me. I've never played it before in my life. Or would you like me to stick with Pokemon? Because uh, generally, that's what my entire, you know, uh, YouTube channel is really about. Mostly Nintendo, Pokemon games, mostly Pokemon. Um, when Pokemon X and Y comes out, I'd love to do that game. I've been getting questions like that. Are you going to do Pokemon X and Y? Because technically that will be blind when it comes out. 
Um, I would love to, I just don't have a uh, DS capture card or 3DS capture card in any way. So, um, uh, if, if, that were to, if that were to change in the future, then I can definitely uh, try. Because I would like to do X and Y as something, that'd be something really cool. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on a 3DS capture card. Um, if not, then uh, I can't do it. I, I, can't, I can't do X and Y, it's not going to happen. Uh, so I'm, yeah. So, that's kind of the options here. Do I, should I stick with just Pokemon, or should I do Pokemon and some Final Fantasy on the side? Um, thing is about uh, doing, me doing other games, I think you all know this, is that I'm very unreliable when it comes to, um, doing, uh, two LPs at once. Because this Let's Play is, uh, like, I can do one Let's Play for sure. Like, that's no doubt, it's gonna finish. Um, unless the game isn't finished, i.e. Skyline. Oh my god, there's a lot of random battles here. Um, so, if I were to, uh, what was I saying? Yeah, if the game's, okay. So yeah, that's kind of the thing. Should I stick with just, like, Pokemon ROM hacks and they're all blind? Because the thing about Pokemon ROM hacks, the thing, the reason why I like it so much, uh, compared to playing normal games, is because it's not only blind to me, it's blind to the majority of you. Holy crap, there are a crap ton of Pokemon battles in this freaking area. Um... It's not just blind just to me, it's blind to some of you as well. So it's like, you guys are experiencing a brand new series while I'm experiencing it by actually playing it. You guys get to watch it, I'm actually going through it. It's sort of like we're all watching a little movie together, and I'm the one filming it. Uh, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick, and let's go down here, because I'm assuming this is where we need to go. Vapid's what's with the random ass lines. Is this a maze? Okay. Uh, okay. Um, right. So, cluster of. God, I hate my life. Um, I'm gonna assume there's a lot of grass slash bug type Pokemon here, so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to Torchic. Also, because Torchic's really close to level 16, even though apparently Pokemon don't evolve in this game. Or at least Torchic and Chikorita don't. Area does. Whoa. Okay, I might as well show this fight, because, uh, I haven't used- Torchic hasn't gotten any, like, screen time, like, at all. So, uh, we'll give him some screen time, and I'm gonna start cutting the battles from here. Let's strict, ew. Okay. Okay, moving on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Alright, so let's go down these stairs and see what happens next. Um, actually, I'm debating on ending the episode right here. Okay, yeah, so Torchic just grew to level 16, level 16, and yeah, it didn't evolve into Combusken. Okay, so, moving on. Uh, oh, God. Alright, uh, I'm really, really, oh my God, are you serious? Like, is anyone else getting kind of pissed off with the amount of, uh, random battles that we have to do? Because it's like, in normal Pokemon games, you can expect random battles if you go into the grass. I'm on normal flat land here. Like, it's just expected that anywhere you walk, it's going to be random battles. I really wish we could take, like, I wish we could at least lower the encounter rate down because holy crap. This is a lot of random battles. It's like every 10 steps. Here, watch it. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, random battle. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay. <laughs> and we found a heart scale. I don't know what we can use that for yet besides selling stuff. Uh, this is gonna be a huge maze, isn't it? Uh huh. Well, the stairs are down here, so I guess I need to go that way. Um, where am I? This is gonna be a maze. I can already tell. Is oh, there's the stairs. Okay. I haven't had any wild battles so far. God. Okay. Whoa. Ooh. I think this is where we should end this off.